Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Last time Benny got through the Heart of the Elders part 1. Well, saying that he got through it is an overstatement because uh, we ended up uh, getting defeated and uh, took one uh, mental trauma. Also, we uh, skipped the retry of the scenario and got I think a total of 10 vengeance points to get uh, to this next scenario. We also got the poison weakness. Uh, so let's quickly look at Benny's deck first. Uh, we didn't get that much XP. Uh, we got one experience point from the last scenario. So, and because you can't spend the experience, the deck is the same as before. So, no changes were made to the deck. Uh, I won't go through the earlier changes that much, only that there are two un unexpected courages instead of two little courages. I changed it with adaptable, and uh, also I upgraded the lantern to level 2. And that is all that was changed to the deck uh, before the last scenario. So, let's get to this scenario then. The changes to this scenario are quite the same as with others with exploration decks. You don't shuffle any encounter cards into the exploration deck at the start of the scenario. Instead, when you successfully explore, you add one uh, random encounter card into the exploration deck. Because we killed one Basilisk in the last scenario, we have already four Vengeance points in the victory display, which isn't that nice, but uh, Benny has uh, 19 Vengeance points in the Fury of uh, Yig tally marks already, so uh, we are in the dumpster all the same. So let's see if uh, Benny can get through Heart of the Elders Part 2. And let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so we can draw our opening hand of five cards. So we get Miss Doyle. Uh, what's this lantern? Uh, red balloon and fire axe. Uh, I think I will Mulligan the Red Balloon and Fire Axe. I'll keep the rest. So we draw two more cards. We get the Lucky and Meat Cleaver. I actually think that I need to change the Fire Axes out of the deck uh, next because, well, we have the Point Print Weakness and <laughs> we really can't be spending our resources before we tackle that weakness so that we don't have to shovel the sell your soul weakness into the deck that is just brutal and might end up uh, putting Betty in an insane state so okay well let's see uh, I think first action will be oh yeah I need my resources I'll just put hit two here because I'll play Miss Doyle and we shuffle the cats. And we get uh, Augur. So that's a really good one. And now let's shuffle these two into the deck. So now we can investigate using Augur. That will help us a lot in this scenario. Oh yeah, uh, we need three clues to advance the act de deck, and the agenda deck has seven uh, doom threshold. And when the agenda advances, we do not remove a doom from the locations in play. Uh, I think second action. Uh, we really don't need the lantern now that we have over, so I think I'll just use. Ogre to investigate 5 versus 2. Oh, yeah, and uh, we can't explore before 
uh, there are no clues on the location we are exploring from so that is also why we need to get rid of this uh, clue right at the start so it's a zero uh, we get the clue and last action I think I will take a resource uh, we don't really want to explore and move to a location so I think that is our turn we ready up and draw one card and gain one resource so that was the first turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom to the agenda and the first encounter card is it's a curse of yik so uh, we get minus one uh, fight and minus one health and gain the serpent trait action test uh, willpower 2 this test gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display okay so mm, we really want to get rid of that so I think I'll do that first I'll use watch this to the test so we are testing uh, uh, we are at 3 willpower, 4 willpower, and I'll take damage on Miss Doyle. Be at actually, I want to take it on Miss Doyle if there is a trigger that uh, puts damage on the ally. So we are 6 versus 6. Mm, yeah, let's just try it out. We have the lucky, so we could uh, save the test with that. It's a uh, elder thing, it's a minus three. If you fail, take one horror, but I'll uh, play both of the luckies. So I'm up by one, and I succeed uh, by one or more. So I'll double the resources I get from the watch this, and uh, Curse of Yik is removed. Uh, second action I will uh, explore so we are looking for the circle triangle or the diamond and we get the diamond right away so uh, this is a new location it's a two shroud location with two clues ancient cave uh, free trigger ability if there are no clues on subterranean swamp Check your supplies. If you have a canteen, place one doom on this location and record sticky goop in your supplies. Um, post after a skill test while investigating subterranean swamp. Check your supplies. If you do not have a, a pocket knife, lose all remaining actions and end your turn. Well, that is uh, quite a steep uh, penalty. So we don't have a canteen or nor a pocket knife, so I think for the last action we will just uh, investigate. Because we're not in a risk to lose any, any actions. Okay, so we shuffled one uh, encounter card into the exploration deck. Our last action we'll use Ogre to investigate. We are investigating 5 versus 2. It's a skull, it's a minus three, because we are at the cave location. Uh, still, we pass the test and get the clue, and uh, we lose our remaining actions, but we don't have any actions to lose, so enemy base, nothing, uh, no enemies, so we go to upkeep. Uh, we throw the repressed clown. I'll choose to take horror on all allies. And I'll gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add the second doom onto the agenda. And the encounter card for this turn is Deep Dark. Uh, put Deep Dark into play next to your agenda. 
No more than one clue may be discovered from each location by each investigator each round. At the end of the round, discard one copy of Deep Dark from a max once per round. Well, there's only one clue here, so I think uh, this turn I'll take one resource for my first action. Second action, I will play uh, Meat Cleaver. And last action, I will uh, investigate with Ogre. I am investigating 5 versus 2. It's a zero. Uh, we get the clue and we lose all of our remaining resources, so that is okay. Uh, enemy face, no enemies. Uh, upkeep, we draw a card, gain one resource, and also at the end of the round we discard the deep dark. So that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. The next encounter card after placing the doom is... Uh, no turning back. Revelation attached no turning back to your location or a connecting location. Limit one per location. Investigators cannot enter or leave at that location. Action test uh, fight 3 or check your supplies if you succeed or if you have the pickaxe discard no turning back any investigator at a connecting location may activate this ability so I'll uh, uh, connect it to the mode of Knuan because we are not going back there and I'll actually check if I have the pickaxe or not no pickaxe so that is fine Okay, so uh, uh, first action, I will play down Lone Wolf. Second action, we will explore. We are looking for the two dashes, the circle or the moon. The triangle and the circle, so we shuffle one encounter card into the exploration deck and then uh, we move to the vast passages uh, two shroud location with one clue uh, it's an additional cost for you to explore while at vast passages check your supplies if no investigator at this location has the binoculars you must spend one additional action so uh, we luckily have the binoculars, so I will just investigate for my last action. I'll use Augur again. So I'm investigating 5 versus 2. And it's the Elder sign, so I think this is the first time uh, when we get to use Benny's own uh, Elder sign effect. Uh, if this test is successful, heal one horror from an investigator at your location, it's a plus one. So we can heal one horror from Benny. That is really good. And we get the clue. So uh, I think at this point I will advance the act. I'll use the three clues and uh, shuffle descent of Yoth into the exploration deck. The lead investigator chooses one investigator to be the group's scout. If that investigator uh, uh, that investigator checks his or her supplies, if the scout has uh, chalk, you are able to avoid traveling in circles. The scout suffers no ill effects. And uh, we have chalk, so we don't suffer any ill effects. And we shuffle the descent of your into the exploration deck. And we are looking for a location with the heart connection so uh, that we can find the descent of Yoth. Okay, so uh, the next step is the descent into dark. Um, objective: If each surviving investigator is at the descent of yours, 
uh, descend to your and there is no doom on it, you may advance. So that is our objective. And no enemies, uh, we go to upkeep. We draw one card and it's the cherish keepsake and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at uh, 4 doom of 7. And the encounter card for this turn is Ill Omen, Peril, Revelation. Choose a location where there is at least one investigator. Place one doom on that location. Each investigator at the chosen location takes one or so there is no avoiding this, so we add one doom there, and Benny takes one horror. But that is the mythos phase, so we go to the investigation phase. We get one uh, resource from the lone wolf, and I think um, I think there are better chances for hitting a location from the vast passages, so we'll explore here. First action, explore, and we hit the Wrath of Yig. So this is one of the new ones. Revelation test, willpower 2. This test gets uh, plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display. If you fail, put the set aside poison weakness in play in your threat area if you cannot take good damage. Well, at this point, I think uh, we are able to take the damage, so I'm not uh, spending any cards for this test. Uh, Benny is testing uh, 3 versus 6. So we'll just test it and take 2 damage. And it's a minus 3, so good thing we didn't try to uh, force the test to be successful. So we take 2 damage. I'll take 1 on Miss Doyle and 1 on uh, Benny. And this goes into the uh, discard pile. Uh, we'll try to uh, explore again and we get the triangle and it is connected so we shuffle one encounter card into the exploration deck and let's see so these are connected and these are connected. And uh, it's getting so far that I need to check it. Uh, post after Dark Hollow enters play, check your supplies. If no investigator has a map, place one additional clues on Dark Hollow per investigator. So uh, again, we are checking our supplies. Uh, we don't have a map, so we place two clues onto this location, and I think uh, we should try to uh, not try to clear this location. It's just a waste of time. So last action, we'll move back the last passages and try try to explore from there again next turn so no enemies we go to upkeep uh, we draw a card we get the sharp vision and we gain one resource so next turn we are uh, safe from the fine print weakness as we get the lone wolf resource at the start of the turn so that is good and that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add another Doom. Uh, we are now at 6 Doom of 7, because there's one Doom on the last passages. The encounter card for this turn is uh, Poisonous Spores. Uh, revelation attached to your location, forced at the end of the round. Each investigator at the attached location who is poisoned takes to horror. Each investigator at the attached location who is not poisoned must put the set aside poison weakness into play in his or her threat area. Uh, discard poison spore, so just put it there. Okay, uh, I think the first action is to explore. I think we are looking for the moon 
and I think that's connected to the uh, location we are looking for, the descent to yacht. So first action, explore. Uh, we get the hall of idolatry, and that this is actually connected to the uh, our uh, destination. So let's shuffle one encounter card into the here. There are a lot of encounter cards now here. Let's check that location. So, uh, the Hall of Idolatry. Uh, three shroud location with two clues. Post after you put Hall of Idolatry in play by successfully exploring. Check campaign mode. If there are five or more Talimots under Yix Fury, draw the top card of the encounter deck. <laughs> top two cards if instead if there are 10 or more Talimax, well, we have way more than 10, so we have to... We have to draw two. So the first one is a Pitfall. You must either choose one test, uh, Agility 3 to attempt to jump the gap, or each point you fail by, take one damage, shuffle Pitfall into the exploration depth. You cannot choose this option if Pitfall was thrown from the exploration deck. Oh yeah, uh, we got... Uh, yeah, we forgot to take the Lone Wolf resource at the start of the round. Uh, the investigation phase. Um, we don't have a way to boost this. I think uh, we'll just risk it and take one damage. We really don't want to put more uh, encounter cards into the exploration deck to make it more difficult for us. So uh, I'm testing five versus three. It's a zero. Uh, so we have used Benny's ability this turn. And this uh, goes away, but the second card is uh, Deep Dark. So. That is annoying, because we could have uh, tried to clear this with the, uh, with the sharp vision this turn, but now we have to investigate two times here. Hopefully you just noticed that this uh, location is also connected to... Uh, ...the Dark Hollow. And, and the circle, well, the circle is not in play yet. Okay, well, uh, I think we'll save the sharp vision and just use Walker to investigate here. So I'm investigating uh, 5 versus 3. Uh, yeah, it's a minus 2, so we succeed. We get one clue. Uh, last action, I will play down the cherry steep sack, just in case. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemies. This goes away. This goes away. Uh, we ready up. Uh, we draw a card. We get the unexpected courage. That is helpful, and we gain one resource. So. That is that turn, and we are advanced next turn. So, I, if I remember correctly, we are getting the Harbour Bringer at the mouth of Nuan, and he starts chasing us. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 Doom of 7, and we advance. So, so check the campaign log, if the Harbringer is still alive, search the collection of Harbringer and spawn it at the location farthest from all investigators. Uh, <laughs> if there are 8 or more telemarks on the X Fury in your campaign log, it enters play at the lead investigator's location instead. It enters play with damage, so yeah, it, it doesn't have any dam damage and uh, it spawns at our location, so... Yeah, I think we are hitting it twice to get rid of it. Okay, and uh, uh, we still have one Doom in play. 
the next uh, agenda is Eyes in the Dark. Uh, if there are no clues on your location, explore, draw the top card of the exploration deck. If it's a connect location, put it in play and move to it. This agenda gets plus one doom threshold for each investigator. So it's has a threshold of 13, and we are at 1 at 13. Encounter card for this turn is. Uh, let's go get the. Mark this. Encounter card is uh, Ill Omen. Choose a location with there is at least one investigator. Well, there is no choice. We add one doom here and we'll take one horror. Actually, I'll take it on the Jerry's keepsake. So, uh, that is the Mythospace first action. Uh, we will use the Meat Cleaver to hit the Harbinger of Pollution. So, when this enemy has uh, 5 damage per investigator or more uh, on it, it gets plus 2 fight and minus 2 evade. And uh, each time we successfully attack or evade uh, this guy, uh, we place one resource on it. Uh, there are two resources on it, it vanishes. So we need to hit it twice. We are not even taking horror to damage it, we just get want to chase it off. So I'm hitting... Four versus. Let me think. Uh, I'll take the damage now. I'm hitting six versus two. It's a minus three, and I won't fail, so I hit it. I'll deal one damage. We put one resource on it. Second action, I will uh, hit it again. I'll. Uh, Use the unexpected courage. I'm hitting uh, six versus two, and it retaliates. Uh, crap! We take what uh, the cherished keeps. Should I break it? No, I'll take the damage, uh, both of the horror damage on Benny. So now we have one better hit. Oh yeah, and we got the Lone Wolf resource. And the damage I will put on Benny. Okay, uh, well... <laughs> it was looking okay, now it's looking really bad. Last action, we'll try to hit again. And I'm hitting... If we miss this, uh, we are dead, but it can't be helped, uh, we are not evading, uh, we, we don't have enough uh, skill to evade. Oh, this this is a hard, hard try. So, uh, we are hitting 4 versus 2. Oh, it's a minus 1. So we hit, we deal 1 damage. And put one resource, and the uh, Harbinger uh, is removed. And we record two damage on the Harbinger. Just put it here for now. Well, uh, we can heal one horror. I'll heal it. Why not? With the meat cleaver and. Uh, that is our turn, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the leather coat, nice. <laughs> uh, well, I think we'll playing that next turn, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom onto the agenda, we are at 2 of uh, 13, and counter card for this turn is a uh, pitfall. Uh, I think we can't risk this now before we get the letter code into play. So we shuffle the pitfall into the exploration deck. And that is that. Uh, if we would have failed that by too much, uh, we would be dead. So this is the safer option before we get the letter code into play. Uh, that is the Mythos phase. Uh, investigation phase starts. The first action will play 
the leather clothes. Uh, second action will investigate. Uh, I'll use the lantern, so I'm investigating. Uh, I'll use the lantern to boost it, and I'll exhaust ogre. So uh, we are investigating seven versus three. It's a minus two, so at least we get the clue, and yeah, we have three doom because I forgot there's one here and uh, last action we can't draw a card yeah so we get the fire axe okay and no enemies we go to upkeep uh, we draw a card we get quick thinking and gain one resource. And actually, now just uh, change the resources into fives. Yeah, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Uh, we are at 4 of 13, then counter card is uh, poisonous spores. Okay, we put it there and we're exploring, so we're trying to get uh, out of this location. I think if we don't uh, find the right uh, location with two explorers, we just move out of here. Or actually, uh, taking two horror is not that big of a deal at the moment, so we can just try it three times. So first action, explore. Uh, we are looking for the heart, and we get it. Well, that that was uh, lucky, to say the least. So we are at the de uh, descent of the yacht. Uh, it's a three-shot location with zero clues. Uh, post after descent of yacht enters play, each investigator must either place one doom on the descent of yacht or draw the top two cards of the encounter deck. Uh, pre triggered ability after you successfully investigate descent of yacht, instead of discovering clues, you may flip one doom on the descent of yacht to its clue side. And Uh, next, uh, second action, we will investigate with Ogre, uh, I will use quick thinking for this test. So I'm investigating uh, 6 versus 3, we are hoping to get the extra action so we can try to investigate at least twice more to get the clue. It's a minus three, so unfortunately we don't succeed fly enough, but we still succeed, so this uh, flips to its uh, clue side. And last action, we are not creating the vengeance, so we'll just sharp vision here. And uh, I'll take damage on Miss Doyle. Uh, actually, let's not be silly. Uh, we are getting. Uh, Three from here, so we are investigating five versus three. And it's a minus one, so we get this clue. And if each surviving investigator is at the descent of two yacht and there is no doom on it, you may advance. So we'll advance and two yacht. Uh, check hand penlock. If the investigator rescued Alejandro, resolution 1. If the Alejandro is missing, resolution 2. So we get the resolution 2. If the Harpbringer of Felicia entered play during this scenario, uh, we add the damage as tally marks onto our campaign log. So there's two damage on the Harpbringer. For each vengeance point in the victory display, record one telemark under XP in your campaign log, and there is 
two, uh, two and two, so six. And each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value for each card in the victory display, and we get one, two, no, uh, one, two, three, four experience. So we have a total of five experience to spend before the next scenario. And well, uh, to be clear, the next scenario is one of my favorites from this uh, campaign. It's the City of Archives, so uh, a short version of the fluff is that uh, when we get to the Descent to Yoth, uh, Alejandro and two Yithians appear and they will suck our consciousness and we are transferred into the body of a Yithian. So next turn we won't be seeing Benny, but we'll be seeing a Yithian with the mind of Benny. So, that is that. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.